Hello, and welcome to Van Black Law's presentation on the current state of the law concerning marijuana in Virginia. I'm Jonathan Gallo with the law firm of Van Dievener Black. And I'm Ann Bebo. Together, we lead the firm's hemp and medical cannabis practice group. We help businesses in the rapidly growing hemp and medical cannabis industries. We keep track of the many changes that are occurring in this exciting field of business. Today, we have our eyes on Virginia's General Assembly, which with the passage of two bills, House Bill 2312 and Senate Bill 1406, may soon make Virginia the 16th state in the nation to legalize the recreational use of marijuana. In the meantime, we've been fielding lots of questions from Virginia businesses on what the proposed changes in the law mean for employee management. For example, can businesses still do drug testing? Can they fire someone who tests positive for marijuana? Will this change if Virginia legalizes marijuana? The answers to these questions will depend in large part on whether the new Virginia law includes employment protections. The current versions of the legislation do not, but that could change. Unless employment protection is added to the legislation, employers will continue to be able to require drug testing and to take action against an employee for testing positive for marijuana, even though the employee used marijuana outside of work hours and even if the marijuana use has become legal. There may be situations, however, where the marijuana use is related to an employee's disability, in which case the employer will need to consult with legal counsel to determine if the employee is entitled to a reasonable accommodation in relation to the off-the-clock marijuana use. Thanks, Anne. So, Anne talked about what the legislation does not cover. Let's talk about what it does cover. House Bill 2312 and Senate Bill 1406 grew out of the studies done by the Joint Legislative Audit and Review Commission and Governor Northam's Virginia Marijuana Legalization Work Group. This weekend, the legislature agreed on a final version, which has been sent to Governor Northam, who could sign it as is or send it back to the legislature for revision. Here are some of the key parts of the current version of the legislation. First, beginning January 1st, 2024, it legalizes the possession of one ounce or less of marijuana for those 21 years of age and older and allows home cultivation of up to four marijuana plants for personal use. Next, it creates a regulatory scheme for the cultivation, manufacture, testing, and retail sales of marijuana and marijuana products and creates a new regulatory agency, the Virginia Cannabis Control Authority. It establishes a taxation mechanism for the sale of marijuana and marijuana products. It mandates the expungement of certain marijuana-related offenses and modifies the penalties for others. It also creates a cannabis equity reinvestment fund to support persons and communities historically and disproportionately affected by drug enforcement, including scholarships, grants for workforce development, and job training. Retail sales will be permitted beginning January 1st, 2024. And it permits localities to prohibit retail marijuana sales through public referendum. As you can see, Virginia is serious about moving forward with the legalization of marijuana. And that means big changes for businesses and employers. We will be following this legislation closely. If you need assistance in establishing a cannabis business in Virginia, we can help. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and click on the notification bell to receive alerts anytime we upload new videos to our channel. On behalf of Van Devender Black, thank you for watching.